What makes a happy life? According to the famous Harvard study on happiness, the answer is love. But what happens when we, or our partners, are unable to show our love clearly, with sadness or conflict as a consequence? Author Gary Chapman formulated a solution, the five love languages. What are these languages, and how can we use them in improving our relationships? The premise behind the love languages is that people express love and feel loved in different ways. Chapman argues that people feel loved when their partner expresses love in the language that is natural to the recipient. The five love languages are words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Words of affirmation are verbal compliments and appreciation, words of comfort and encouragement, and words that inspire kindness, humility, and generosity. Quality time is time that consists of focused attention, quality conversation, and quality activities. Receiving gifts implies that the gifts are tokens of love, meaningful, and appropriate for different occasions. Acts of service deal with the everyday chores that we do to make our partner's lives easier or more comfortable. Physical touch deals with physical intimacy that isn't sexual, embracing, hugs, and kisses. Chapman states that we can identify people's love language by looking at how our partner most often expresses love, being mindful of what our partner complains about most often, what do they lack in the relationship, and being attentive to what our partner asks for most often. We can improve our relationships by being aware of our partner's and our own love language. Instead of acts and words of love being lost in translation, we can express our love in a mutual, satisfactory way. And that, as the Harvard study shows, makes all of us happy.